Okay, in this tutorial, we're just going to take a look at um, introductory look at rigid bodies and soft body objects, and this is for new Blender users. So this is just to make things work physics-wise. So if I click this object, press T, and turn this into a rigid body, just by press click active, just like that, add active. And then I'll select the plane below it, and then I'll add passive. And then when I run Alt A, this object is immediately working just fine. So it's powerful. It's powerful and easy to do. All right, so just It'll just keep running over and over again like that. What did I do with this thing? I can move that below the plane somehow. But yeah, you can see it interacts like that. Okay, so the, but, but sometimes I like to use a soft body instead. So with a soft body, the soft body can deform shape as well. So if I just use the basic settings, say for a soft body, which means I come into here and I, let's see, I'll turn this into a soft body object, just like that. That's the most basic of settings. Well, here's what happens. It'll start bouncing around. Let's see, it does that little bounce effect. Well, that's kind of goofy. Most of the times I work, use this in conjunction with vertex groups, but right now we won't. So to get past that initially, you can just come over here to this goal strength under here, this under the soft body goal setting down here. Yours is probably closed up. Just take the default and crank it down to zero. All right, and then when you do, then it, then it can fall like that. But then we have the other issue is that we need this doesn't interact with this object so it works in a different way so you have to turn that into to a collision based object. You also have to make sure that these, this object and this object are on the same layer. If I try it again, let's see from the beginning there it does. It collides with the surface like this all right, I'll turn this down. We don't have to run it so far. So it runs over like that, but it falls apart. So it's not really like a hard body, but I do want it to behave like a soft body so I can deform it how I want. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll just come in here. I'll grab this object and back in the soft body settings, down here on these edges, I'm going to crank up the push setting. That basically changes these vertical edges like that it makes them really stiff and then there's angles that go across from corner to corner and that's these stiff quad settings that have the, that cranked up so now with those two cranked up like that and this thing cranked down then this should be able to it won't be exact but it's pretty close start, start from the beginning and that starts acting more like a rigid body in in that sense right not exact but it's pretty close all right, and then that gives us an advantage also because then you can make this, let's just turn this down a little bit. We'll just turn it down to eight, and then you can see it'll start, well, I'll do it a little bit more. You can see it starts crunching on itself, but then that really comes into play when you start setting the, start subdividing it. All right, we've subdivided it a little bit, okay. And there it goes, it starts crunching on itself. So th you can keep this setting pretty high. It doesn't have to be a whole lot away from one. There you go, it starts crunching on itself. Let's do it as point, you know, point 0.98. So very close to the edge. And you can see it starts deforming. Now if you look at my playlist that I did on soft body physics, you can show how I've added structural elements to the inside of it so you can control how that works. But this is a nice approach because then you can kind of get the best of both worlds. You have rigid bodies just to do things and soft bodies to do things and then you can affect it with the physics forces as well. All right, well, maybe you didn't know it. Maybe you did. Ah, uh, well, just pointing it out, of course. And I'll see you in the next video.